everyone, welcome to my channel. Well, Triple Tech has a brand new tablet on the market. It is the 8-inch Pro, and it's designed for drone pilots. It's all designed for outdoors. Actually, it's, it's kind of like a phone in a tablet. It's one of the few on the market. And uh, they say it works with every drone, and I've tried it with several drones already, and it seems to work quite well. So let me show you. Here I have it working with the DJI Fly More app, so you can use it with the DJI Mini 2, the DJI SE, the DJI Mavic Mini, as well as the DJI Air and the DJI Air 2S. Works fine. Here it is working with the Hubson Zeno Mini Pro, and if you watched my review on the Mini Pro, you know that until you fly, there is no video. So here it's just telling me all the diagnostics, and I can hop out of that hit the X and normally I would go into the FPV signal but as you can see on the screen on a Hubson Zeno Mini Pro it basically says hey we turned it off on you so yeah no video now for owners of Autel Evo and the new Nano coming up and the new light it works with all of those as well this here is the 6k Autel Evo 2 it's the most expensive one before you get into the commercial side it's got that huge camera in the front and it uses the app whoa I just hit a bunch of buttons on here let me go to previous so you can see here on my well the screen is so bright you can see on the screen here it says select your Evo you got the two or the original one it will have all the new ones in there as well pretty soon. So I'll hit the two and let me just go in next. It's uh, it's just telling me all sorts of stuff here. Next, 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 done. I don't know what you're asking. There we go. So camera, sensors, firmware update. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next. Self-checking. Good. Finish. Okay. Oh my God, it's still going. Don't show this again because I don't even know what it means. All right. So there it is working with the uh, Autel Evo app. And you can see as I move this around, you do need an adapter to connect this huge tablet to the controller. You probably already have one. If you don't, uh, Triple Tech does sell one. Uh, they did give me this one before and I've used it in previous videos. I just didn't connect it. Now, speaking of adapters for controllers to put the Triple Tech 8 Pro on, you will probably need something if you don't already have something. There's so many things on the market, so you might already have something. So here I'm using this. This is a type of little uh, holder that goes into a remote that is in this shape. And you can put a pretty big tablet in there because it stretches quite large. You can see from here to here. And as you stretch it out, you can fit a large tablet. I think they sell this on the Triple Tech website. You might want to check it out. This is another one I use if you use um, any sort of controller that just uses a phone in it. You can use this type if you want because the bottom is in the shape of a phone. And then up here is where you stick your tablet in there. It's pretty straightforward. This one here is a PGY Tech one and I'll put links to it below. So you can go check that out for whatever type of controller you have. Now at the start of this video, I said, think of this tablet as if it were a cell phone because it is, it's like an unlocked cell phone. It has a lot of the features of a cell phone in it. So when you try to compare this to other tablets, try to compare it to a tablet that is a cell phone as well. All right, so let me tell you a little bit about the physical features of this tablet and why it is so amazing for drone pilots. Check this out. So I'll bring it close. The front of the tablet is an eight inch display and it is hardened Gorilla Glass over top. It is dust proof, shock proof, drop proof, every type of proof you can imagine. I'll get into that in a little bit. It has a 2560 by 1600 pixel resolution. You can see there's a forward facing camera and up top it's just like a cell phone. It's got that little earpiece. It looks like that's what it is. Now on the side, you can see a spot where you put your SIM card if you want to use it as a telephone or data, as well as your micro SD card. And if you open that slot up, you can pull out the holder and you can see where either card would fit. Now your SIM card, once again, it is 4G. Your micro SD card, on the other hand, that you stick in there, you can put a micro SD card in there that is up to one terabyte in size. That is massive. Let me also mention that there are 256 gigabytes of memory built in for you to use. So it's gonna take you a long time to fill that up. Going down the side, you can see the assignable function button. It says SOS on it. This is designed for you to assign it to whatever you'd like. On the bottom, you can see the USB-C charge port. That's for charging it up, obviously. As well, there's a data port. On the sides, you have your power button and your volume buttons. Looking at the rear, you can see the camera. The rear camera is a 21 megapixel camera with autofocus, and there is a little flash unit beside it. You'll see also two holes on the back. I believe one of those holes is a microphone. Phone. Finally, looking at the back, you can see a series of other holes and those holes are to screw in the accessory hand grip. And that grip is included as well as the hardware to attach it. 
So you can see overall it's a really cool tablet. It's got some decent features compared to the previous version. Have I shown you the previous version? Well, let me pull one out here. So here you can see them side by side, the 7 inch and the 8 inch. The 7 inch is still available. This is the 7 inch Pro and this is the 8 inch Pro. This one is faster than this one and is much more advanced than this one for features and it's also thinner in size uh, but the screen brightness is about the same they're about the same for screen brightness they're both at 1200 nits much larger battery in this one than this one speaking of battery power if i have not already mentioned it inside this huge eight inch tablet is a 12,200 milliamp hour battery that is massive so let me look at my little chart over here and repeat the same things i said earlier it's uh, waterproof it's shake proof it's drop proof to military standards so military in the military u.s military they have the standard for the soldiers if they drop something it must not break or get damaged and this has that spec obviously if i drop it off a building i'm going to destroy it probably but just dropping it you know from normal height um yeah it's not going to go now there is a screen brightness setting on here and i do have it on Mac, so it's probably messy with my white balance every time I show it. So let me just adjust certain things here. There, I'll put it back to the black so it doesn't kill my white balance as much. What else does it say on my little list? It is a uh, hardened Gorilla Glass. I already mentioned that. Glove touch screen. So in the winter time, if you have gloves on, it works. GPS, GLONASS, Beldu, Galileo, and it has a one year warranty as well. So that's good. So if you get this and something goes wrong within a year, just contact Triple Tech and it's under warranty. So inside it, it has a CPU ARM processor at two gigahertz, an octa-core processor. You know, I'm just reading off my chart. It does have a GPU for 3D graphics so you can do play games with 3d graphics or do google google earth let me just turn down the volume a touch here so it i could talk over it all right so what else does it say it has a uh, i already mentioned the 3d graphics it's got eight gigs of ram for the processor 256 gigs of ram for you to store anything you want on it uh, you can put a one terabyte micro sd card in it it's got 4g Every type of Wi-Fi, so you've got dual band Wi-Fi. It's got Bluetooth in it, uh, version two all the way up to 4.2. It's got NFC, so you could take this into a store and pay for your stuff with NFC on it. Uh, you can play any type of game you want, as you can see here with the 3D graphics. It's, uh, it's quite good for that. And with the 3D graphics, I'm showing it here, like Google Earth is no problem. There you go, that's the city of Toronto. Uh, there, there's a CN Tower there, so you can move around 3D aspect when you're looking at stuff on maps if you want. Now, besides all the cool features on here that make it perfect for a drone pilot, you know, being drop-proof, dust-proof, use it out in the rain, and all the other stuff that it has, it's also got the brightest screen. It's got a 1200 nit display on it. So I do have a phone here, an iPhone. There we go. It's an iPhone. Am I touching stuff on it? So it's an iPhone 11 Pro Max and it has uh, something over a thousand nit display on it. I'm not really sure what it is, but it's very bright. So if I use this, when you see me doing drone stuff outside, it's very good in the sun, but it's not a display that will stay on forever. As soon as the battery gets warm or my battery gets low, the display drops. With having the huge battery in this thing, when it's on a bright display, uh, you can be out with your app and it should not drop. It should just stay at 1200 nits the whole time and not overheat and drop in any respect. So you're probably wondering, well, that's all good, Steve, but show it to us outdoors. So yeah, I'm gonna show you a segment of video right here. So I took the Triple Tech 8 Pro outdoors and I put it next to my iPhone 11 Pro Max and I brought in a DJI smart controller and I stuck them on the DJI Fly app. And you can see here when you're looking at all of them, they all look pretty much about the same brightness, at least to my eyes. I couldn't, I couldn't tell one being brighter than the other. The DJI Smart Controller is only a thousand nits in brightness, whereas the Triple Tech huge eight inch display is 1200 nits. That's why it's got that massive battery to keep powering all that brightness out in daylight. So the differences to your eyes, you might not notice them looking at everything comparable together, but there would be a difference in the long run depending on how the sun is shining. So you can see here in the previous version, in their seven inch version, let me turn that sideways too. In the seven inch version, they have like a matte finish on the display, but they said that drone pilots, you know, they didn't really care for that because they were using this to watch movies and play video games on their couch as well as fly drones. So they wanted something that looked more like the DJI display or like on a cell phone. And that's why it has much more of a 
display that will get some glare on it. You have to have it at the right angle. There, I've got it there. You see how it's a little bit less on the, the flat one? It's hard to see. Well, I guess you're getting glare there. All right, forget everything I said. All right, I'm flinging this around in the air, and I'm sure someone's going to comment on that. But the next thing I want to show you is just the basic interface. When you get this tablet, take it out of the box, turn it on. It's all Google ready, Google Play Store ready. It's Google certified, everything else. You turn it on. It's got a beautiful walkthrough screen to set up the tablet. It's really good. It's just like you bought something very professional. And it is an Android tablet. That means it runs Android. And the version of Android they stuck on here is Android version 10. The most current version of Android is Android version 11. So this one has 10 on it, but 10 is very advanced. Wait until you see it, because when you take this out of the box, it's so easy to set up and get going. So after you set it all up, I'm going to show you how to manage the interface. So check this out. And now a super quick run through of the tablet. So the first thing you want to do is press the power button over on the right and then slide up. This is your main interface. Everything should be set up automatically and it lo should look pretty much like this. Your wallpaper might be a little bit different, but still, yeah, that's the wallpaper that came with mine. So it's an Android tablet, which means if you pull down from the top, you have your quick icons, you know, your quick action things you want to do. They're all self-explanatory. Let's push that up. And if you go up from the bottom, these are all the apps on your tablet. So let's take those away. Swiping to the left, these are apps you can add. So I added all my drone apps there. If I swipe to the left again, I've added some more. So I have some games here and I have Netflix. So let me show you that. If you want to do a game, I'm just going to hit one of them really quick. Looks like I'm going to have to spin this this way. So we see the game. So just to show you, the graphics are pretty good. You can fly your plane around and you can shoot missiles, shoot your gun. The whole goal of this game is basically find the enemy and destroy them before they destroy you. Haha, <laughs> I got it, got it. Alright, so that's good. Now if you want to hop out any of these games, it's Android, so basically just go up from the bottom. There we go. And it's gone. And if you want a race car game, let me show you that really quick. But the graphics are half decent for all types of games that you want to, want to play on a tablet. So let's hop out of that go up and flick it away so all of these things like on android if you want to clear all everything that's open or just flick it away one by one and we're all done so if you want to use a tablet to watch movies there's netflix i'll start that up and let me just find a movie and flick it around so you can watch it in movie viewing mode All right, enough of that. Hit pause and let's hop out of that. So what I've shown you already is that this is a good tablet for everyday items that you want to use it for. Down below, these are all the apps that are on your home page. I have not added any of these. So you have your maps, you have YouTube. Just show YouTube since that's you're watching YouTube now. So since it's under my account, it's going to go to videos that I probably watch. Let's see. Hey, look at it. Win a Xeno Hubson Mini Pro. Let's hop out of that. You also have Google Assistant voice. What is the temperature today? Today in Orléans, expect a high of 16 degrees and a low of 6 degrees. You also have your Google Photos outdoor features, like silly little things like, I don't know, say if you want to do a noise test or a compass. Let's hit a compass on here. Friendly reminder. There we go. So north is that way. It also comes with a screen recorder. You can record your screen in snapshots or video right here. You can make phone calls because you can put a sim card in it you have your texting app over here just like on a phone then you have the google play store right here where you can get all the items that you would like to download you have your chrome browser over here you have your camera let's go into that really quick so here's my camera it's taking a picture of the back so let me flick it around and look up and look at this we're gonna look whoa we're looking at the camera taking this <laughs> let's go back that looks terrible last item over here is your settings you'll want that screen for a lot of things that's how you're going to set everything up you can see it all here i just want to show you display right now just as i mentioned at the beginning you can see the brightness level is on 81% for this video. Look at my hand is kind of dark because the screen is bright and you have adaptive brightness on. So it is adjusting itself for the lighting in the room. I'm going to turn that off. There we go. So now I have manual control on brightness and I'm going to crank it full. So you should have seen everything. This gets white and everything around me is pretty much pitch black. That's why I do not have it like that because it kills the camera. It's too bright. So I've got to drop it down and basically I just put adaptive brightness back on and it should fix itself. There we go. Other item I want to show you is the storage right here. So you can see I have used with all the apps I've stuck on here. I've only used 6% storage. You have 256 gigs of storage included on this device. One thing you'll like is down here you have a smart key and SOS. So if I hit the smart key 
Right now it says that this here button on the side, no, that's my power button, this here button on the side, which is SOS, you probably can't see it, it says SOS because of the lighting. Right now it's set to torch. So if I touch torch, it tells me right here, uh, yeah, so I've set it at torch. That means if I hold this button down, the lighting in the back will come on. So it should come on, there we go, so it's on. That's what they call a torch. So you can set that button to anything you would like that's listed here or other things if you wish. So you can set it to the camera, the outdoor tools, SOS, or other applications as you desire. Now what I want to do is I'm just going to put the zoom on here on my camera and have it focus on the screen. I don't know how close I can get, but I just want to show you the screen is quite good. That's about as close as I can get it with it staying in focus, but you can see yeah, the screen is nice and sharp and clear. Next thing I want to show you is what comes in the box. And I have the box back here. So this is the box, what it looks like. And inside that box, you get a cable for charging, data cable as well. And you get the wall warp plug. You get the strap that goes on the back, plus the hardware to connect it to the back. You also get, if you're going to put a micro SD card or SIM card in, you get this baby. It's just a little pins that you pop in to poke things out. And finally, you get a set of instructions. And I'm going to tell you right now, I was impressed because these instructions are actually really good. So if you know nothing about the tablet or how to use Android or anything like that, it walks you right through to set everything up and get you going with no problem. Now, one other thing to mention, they do say the spec say that the back camera has 21 megapixels some of you will go searching for it so let me show you how do you find it go up to your apps up the top here you will find your camera app you have two camera apps use the one that's sort of orangey yellow in color and there you get your camera app happening right there and now what you're going to do is click on this little thing up top can you see that click on that and then over here you should see a settings click on settings and over here, you should see where it says picture size, 21 megapixel. All right, my final thoughts on the Triple Tech 8 Pro are no different than the Triple Tech 7 Pro. Both are great for drone pilots. If you need a tablet for outdoors and you want to use it specifically for your drone, mostly, well then these are the great tablets to get. This one is lighter than this one. This one is more powerful, longer battery than the 7. The only negative I ever have on the Triple Tech Pro tablets, doesn't matter if it's the 7 or the 8, is the weight. So these tablets weigh a lot. And let me show you the weight of the 8. The 8 is less in weight than the 7, but it still weighs quite a bit. So in the US, you're in the Imperial system, so you use pounds. So this is over one pound in weight. And I'll show it to you in grams as well. Here it is in grams. All right, so links are below this video, taking you to both tablets to the Triple Tech store. Go check it out. I know in previous uh, iterations of the tablet, the 7, Triple Tech did provide a code to Captain Drone viewers so you could get a discount. I do not know if that code is there this time, but if it is, it will be below. Go check it out. If you have questions on either tablet, just post them below. I will get back to you. Also, Triple Tech is very responsive. If you send them an email, they will get back to you. A lot of viewers will comment on that. They're very good at getting back to their customers. So if you have technical questions, send them an email, they will answer it. If you have just general usage questions, you can send me an email and I'll give you my general usage opinion and you know how I find this works for the usage you might have in mind. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will catch you in future videos with many more product reviews. Until then, take care, bye.